do the website builder tutorial hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can make a website with duda so having said that let's just jump into the video now i'm over here onto their website called duda.co and over here as you can see this is how the website looks like and to get started all you have to do is just simply click on uh, the let's build website button over here or click on the start a free trial so let's go ahead and click on start a free trial and sign up and there's also a plan over here the pricing table so let's go ahead and check those out as well all right so over here as you can see we have four plans the basic the team the agency and the custom right so we have the basic plan over here in the basic one you can only make one website you will have hosted on aws uh, amazon um, i think servers and email support and in the team you get one website aws hosting phone chat and email support uh, your brands on every part of the platform access to teams and client management features and then you have agency which is 33 dollars per month billed annually you have four website on aws hosting including four priority support via phone chat and email brandings on every part access to team and client management dynamic pages connected to customer data and extendable widget builder as well then you have the custom plan where you can create your own custom plan depending upon which services you want and for that you're going to have to contact them so as you can see pretty decent $14 for basic 22 for team 33 for agency and then more for the custom one so let's go ahead and start a free trial so click on the button start a free trial and let's go ahead and do it so over here you can go ahead and continue for 14 days with no credit card requirement you can sign up with google or first name last name or your business email so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up with google and i'll catch you guys in a second and then once you have signed up this is how it looks like so over here as you can see what description fits you best so over here i'm basically a freelancer what is your experience building uh, i built my website without coding all right and get started and over here this is how it looks like right so over here this is going to be your dashboard and quickly just to create a site just simply click on create a site button over here and what type of website do you want to create a portfolio a landing page a business site online store and you know lifestyle so i'm going to choose online store and get started and over here they basically ask us to choose a template so advanced templates all right so we don't want that we're just going to choose some of these and maybe you know go with this so you can also use advanced templates as well so these are like flex templates right let's go ahead and see them as well all right so over here these are flex templates so you can use these as well these are still in the beta form as you can see over here but i think they would be good so it's still loading up so i'm gonna wait for them to load up and then we'll see how they look like so all right so as you can see these are how they look like this is pretty amazing pretty simple websites really cool so we can choose whichever one you want uh it all depends on you so over here you can choose this one this is like a blank one uh, a blank shop you can go ahead and add your slogans uh, your you know catalogs your items all of that so i think this looks much better so let's go ahead and start building this so over here we can name our shop so we'll just say zen store and then we'll go ahead and click on start building and then it's going to create our website for us so just wait a couple of minutes and we should be good to go okay so this is how it looks like right we're just simply gonna close this video up yeah so as you can see this is the website this is how it looks like on the left hand side we have some options such as pages widgets design elements content and all of that and then whenever you hover your mouse over a piece of content that gets highlighted which indicates that you can go ahead and edit that piece out right and then over here on the right side you have some options such as an add button add comments you have comment logs and all of that so you know if someone wants to comment on your website make it you know like a couple of people are working on it they'll be like oh change this to this or this to this you know just so that you can know so anyway we can go ahead and start editing it out so over here at the background we're going to change the background we're just simply going to click over here and we can add the settings over here we can see we have image we have color we have video we can upload our own video we can upload our own image right so to change the image just simply click on the replace button and over here this pop-up will pop up but currently there's nothing in them we can even edit them or delete this image entirely right so we have video over here let's go ahead and upload a video instead of an image i just find out that you know the image is the video is video looks much better but uh, let me just replace that and over here we can add like multiple images here we go it's loaded up 
Now, what we can do is we can upload our own image over here by clicking on this button and uploading our own image. Or we can, you know, select one of these images over here. They're still loading up. I don't know why. My internet is fine. It's not slow or anything, but it's still not loading up. There we go. So we have all these different images. We can go ahead and choose these, right? But we can even search for an image. Let's go ahead and search for, let's see, clothes. Over here, we can upload our own image. Something like this looks good. You know, we have different colored shirts. Looks, It will look nice. Uh, but if you want to change that, you can change your own one. So let's go ahead and select this one and click on done. And we will have our image over here. There we go. Now, if you wanted to, you know, go ahead and upload a video, just simply click on the video op option, upload your own video, or you can upload your video onto YouTube and get your video from there. Pretty simple. Now you can go ahead and add other effects to it, like animations as well. So you click on animation, you have your animation. So trigger will be entrance or scroll and animation would be slide. All right, slide up. As you can see over here, we can see the animation looks pretty nice from right or from bottom. We'll go with from bottom. As you can see from bottom, it goes up. Looks pretty nice. Intensity, you can increase the intensity of it as well, or maybe decrease it. So it it's to your own liking. So we can add that as well. Then we have spacing as well. We can add some spacing, but looks pretty nice. So next you can go with, you know, add your slogan over here. Just simply click on this title and just simply select all of it and change it. So the best you'll find or the best you can get something like that anything you want you can just simply add that and boom you will be good to go same with the shop now button as well click on the button and you will arrive over here this pop-up will pop up and what you can do is you can go ahead and you know change it up you can link it to other pages as well or your own website URL so as you can see currently this is the page we selected and whenever someone clicks over here they'll be taken over to the shop page where we have our options and if you wanted to customize this button just simply click on the design and then the design elements will pop up you can change the color of the background you know let's make it a little bit different let's go ahead and pop it uh maybe something along the lines of yellow yeah something like that that looks nice there we go uh, it looks real that's the border i'm sorry yeah and then we have the rounded corners the floating buttons and all of that we can even upload an image of the for that but it all depends on us but currently i think this looks good the yellow button looks nice yeah then down below you can go ahead and edit this out you click on this button you can upload your own products over here as well now for this you have to upload the content right so on the left side you have your content button you click over here you can import the content or collect from client you can add like collections site contents are going to be over here so if you click on collection you can create a collection over here upload all of your clothes dresses whatever it is that you want and you can upload them over here now but let's see if we can just you know go ahead and upload it over here so content is synced with your store data so go to store catalog so we click over here onto store catalog as you can see underneath e-commerce there will be store cataloged over here we can upload our products over here so it's loading up again let's just wait for a couple of seconds i don't know why it's so slow all right, so as you can see, this is how it looks like. Over here, we have our product catalog, right? So we have some products over here. Like these are sample products, but there's nothing in them. So what we can do is, let me just go ahead and delete them. Delete all sample products, yep. All sample products deleted. Now we just simply click on create a new product and we'll add new product. So over here, we upload the images. We click on upload images over here and we just select the images that we want, right? so these are the three ones i'll just upload them there we go they're uploaded once they're uploaded we should be good to go so first i'm going to select this one i'm going to click on done there we go then i'm going to call it black party dress sku number you know you can add that you can add the weight i will just say it's one kg maybe even two and then over here we can add the description of the product and over here we can add the price of the product as well I'm going to say 5000 that's like around $50. You know, maybe like, let's say go with 10000 that's like around $100. Yeah, that's around like $50, yeah. Then we'll just simply click on save, and the product will be saved. So this does kind of look like Equid's product, but yeah. Then we close it, and over here it should uh, reload. Let me see over here. Let's go back onto e-commerce. 
and click on and over here we have the product as you can see then we go back over here and it is enabled so we click over here the product is enable it again i'm going to add another one as well i'm going to select this one and i'll call this one black party dress black formal dress actually why can't i upload it all right this time i'm going to call it black party dress there we go add in the price again I'll, this time i'm say twenty thousand it's around like a hundred dollars sku number and then just simply click on save you can add other descriptions as well but yeah this one looks good then we have our catalog right here so this should be good now go back to home and then we click on e-commerce and over here all right so as you can see we have one of our products available over here now this is i think in a category way so let me just wait up over here there we go so now i'll just choose dresses over here so this will be the category and then over here we will have dresses so when someone clicks over here onto the product they'll be taken over to the collection where i have added other products same thing down below you can just simply click on these buttons add your products change the background and all of that and you should be good to go so pretty simple nothing too crazy so that is how you do it that's how you use uh, duba to create your website so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye